of that election, yes, there were some gaps, but I think the opportunities for moving forward are in that election. But out there, uh, we have a lot of people that felt that the election failed, and as a result of it, I think the patience for us to allow our leaders to come up with creative solutions to our problems are not there. So in other words, the trust, the trust between the society and the state uh, is so weak, people no longer trust their leaders. And in Lagos, I saw people shouting in power, and as I go around the country, people say we are hungry. But the problem is that everything is blamed on President Chilobu. To me, I think that is a wrong understanding of where we are coming from, a poorly packaged understanding of what the problems of Nigeria uh, you know, is. But as my senior colleague said, trust is end. Now, as we are struggling here, trying to make the Nigerian, you know, to make the Nigerian states or make Nigerians trust their leaders. The question is, are these leaders trustable? Are they actually behaving in ways that will show that we really need to trust them? We have a project we are doing in the university, and I think our leaders or our politicians are adding to the problems in the land. There is increasing state of elite state capture. Everything that is done is towards further empowering the elite, and I think the rest of the society is abandoned. And for those of us in the university, we said, look, we are giving things to everybody. An average university person is being wiped out. A professor called me and said, this is the cost of my treatment every year. I can no longer treat myself. Now, he was literally announcing his death to me, because if you can no longer buy drugs, and the state is not even addressing your problems. You know, it becomes a very critical issue. Several people are running away from the country. And yet, you see those who are leading us feeling very fat, allocating to themselves all kinds of problems, or all kinds of allocations. Then we have questions responsibility to protect. The ability of our leaders to protect us, I think, is getting weaker and weaker and people are complaining and they come up with all kinds of arguments that if we are not, if our leaders cannot protect us, don't we need to invest more on how to protect ourselves? Or in the alternative, why are we not actually leaving the country? So several people are leaving. They are leaving because they no longer see their leaders as having the capacity to protect them. We have just completed a project. You know, we went around the entire country and people are becoming more and more frustrated by the performance of the police. And we are told in Lagos here that there will be another answers Because the problems that led, led to answers have not been managed, more problems have been added. So, we that report is being presented to Police PROs in Abu Dhabi. The meeting is going on now.